sounds like who I, I, who I would guess you to be. Writing Our Stories is a program to teach creative writing to kids in their classrooms. It's that simple. But the key to it is to have a published poet or a published fiction writer as the teacher who executes the lessons inside a regular classroom. Good morning, class. Good morning, teacher. How are you today, class? Good morning, teacher. I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. When I learned about the program and I heard about the um, impact that it made not only on improving reading and writing skills but also addressing bullying issues, helping children develop empathy for each other, I thought this was an outstanding program. They're better learners, that they've got creative writing skills that will last a lifetime. Better resumes, better interviews, better creative expression. If, if they've got a million dollar idea, they need to be able to express that idea. If somebody were to ask you who you are, what would you tell them? My name is Jordan and my poem's name is Lightning. I am lightning, my brother is thunder, my sister is rain. I am a symbol of speed, of power, of pain. The future of our culture and our society doesn't lie in university creative writing workshops. It lies in seventh grade classrooms around the country. And I firmly believe that, that the arts and creativity and writing and poetry are essential not only to individual lives, but to the health and vitality of our society. So I feel like we're doing real important work in programs like this. I fall from the heavens with a pow and a boom. When I appear, everyone hides in the room. Everyone fears Poetry me. Poetry can be I beautiful, it can be explosive, it can have a lot of energy and life, but it is not something that's going to harm you if you're a child. Everyone fears me, but I can be a good catch. I stand for Raiden, Shazam, and The Flash. This age group, 6th, 7th, and 8th, because they are this sort of boiling little cauldrons of adolescent emotions and hormones, they're craving a way to say something. I take away life, but also give it back. I'm no meanie. Just look at Frankenstein, Frankenbride, and Frankenweenie. <laughs> Whatever it's very therapeutic thinks, for them, but it also teaches them empathy, it teaches them uh, how to respect each other. Very good, nice projection and a nice speed. Very good, girl, thank you. The classroom teachers we've had have been inspired and inspiring. You have to open up this, you have to hold it up like this. I've learned immensely from them about how to be good teachers, especially with this age group, and how to be good people doing good work for the right reasons. I find a lot of times they have trouble thinking outside the box sometimes because everything is so um, informational. So to be able to sit there and kind of think outside the box and not be so like confined by like, this is how it has to be done. It's just really, it helps them think. The most wonderful thing about writing poetry is you start with a blank page and you'll do something no one else has ever done in the history of the world. And when you tell them that, they realize, well, I've done something absolutely extraordinary here. You have to convince them of that a little bit because they still think I'm just a seventh grader. How cool could I be? And then the idea of putting this in a book, I mean, that's tangible. That's something you can never take away from them. It will always be there. Something they can look at 10 years from now, 20 years from now and say, I did that. And I love that. Whatever anyone thinks, I am strong. I have might. You wouldn't have a TV in light if it wasn't for me and that kite. The best it's part like about it is that it feeds the soul of these young kids and it teaches them that the world is not just a scary, dark, negative place. That the world is a place where you can discover poetry and that poetry is a, is a way to have a transaction with other people. Just as I come, I leave in the blink of an eye. Remember that Thor and I watch from on high. That's really helped her, so I, I hope that they would um, keep the um, program in the schools. It's so much fun. I love writing now. 
Well, it's great to see them uh, open up and express themselves and get up in front of people. It's awesome. I was just so impressed with the pride they took in their work. I was, I was it was really impressive. Just so impressed. I was, I was proud of my kids. She was very excited to be able to share her work today. Very proud of her. Before, I was always, you know, good at putting stuff together and making it sound good, but now it's just something I love. Like, I couldn't go without it.